Hi, my name's Sam and I work for London Wildlife Trust. I'm here at the Centre for Wildlife Gardening and today we'll be learning all about spiders. As you probably know, spiders have eight legs and belong to a group called the arachnids. All spiders are carnivores that eat insects and sometimes even other spiders. And they all spin silk, which is one of the strongest and stretchiest materials on Earth. It's also incredibly lightweight. In fact, if you had a strand of spider silk that went the whole way around the world, it would weigh about the same as this small bag of flour. Some spiders make webs to catch their prey, like this garden spider, which is a kind of orb web spider. Orb web spiders make the classic web with radial spokes of silk, connected by a silken spiral. They wait in the middle for a flying insect to get stuck in their web, and then they pounce. I'm using a piece of grass here to mimic the vibrations of a struggling insect, but the spider quickly realises it's a trick and returns to the centre of its web. When they catch an insect, spiders wrap their prey up tightly in silk so it can't escape, and using their fangs, they suck out the juices. Sometimes they save their catch for later. You can see a little insect parcel in this web just below the spider. Other spiders make different types of web to catch their prey like this labyrinth spider, which you can just see disappearing into its funnel-shaped web. These spiders get their name from the labyrinth of chambers and tunnels at the end of their webs. They eat mostly grasshoppers and crickets, which get caught in their sturdy silken traps. Sheet web spiders make filmy, sheet-like webs and hang upside down, waiting for their prey. The black lace weaver spider's web is a tangled mesh of threads surrounding a silk-lined tunnel. The silk is very fine and sticky and has a lace-like appearance and a bluish tinge. Most webs are designed to catch prey, but the nursery web spider spins a web to make a safe environment for her young. You can see this female spider inside her tent-like web, protectively clutching her egg sac. When the eggs are about to hatch, she leaves the egg sac in the web and stands outside on guard duty. The newly hatched spiderlings live inside the web, protected from the elements and from predators, until they are large enough to fend for themselves. Most spiders live outside, but some have adapted to living inside our homes, like the daddy longleg spider, which likes our warm, dry homes and can't survive outside in the winter. It makes loose, messy webs to catch its prey, and when disturbed, it vibrates violently to scare off potential predators. Not all spiders catch their prey in webs. Some, like this wolf spider, are active hunters that pounce on their prey as they encounter it, and sometimes even chase it for short distances. Crab spiders are ambush predators. They sit and wait for their prey to come close enough for them to grab it with their two front pairs of legs, which they hold out ready, and which makes them look a bit like a crab. Some crab spiders, like this flower crab spider, can change colour to match their environment. This one matches the green of this everlasting pea plant perfectly. This flower crab spider has turned itself white and has managed to catch a silver wash fritillary butterfly, a prey much larger than itself. This is another species of crab spider that can't change its colour. It's a dull brown for camouflage against the ground. This blue bottle should really watch out. I mean, really, though. Phew! Lucky blue bottle. Wow. Aren't spiders amazing? Anyway, that's all from me. See you next time.